Abdullah Azam was born in 1941 into a family of Palestinian farmers in the West Bank. During his childhood, he witnessed the massacre and displacement of many of his family members at the hands of Israeli settlers. During his youth, Abdullah Azam left Palestine in order to escape the persecution of the Israeli authorities and complete his further education. In the next few years, Abdullah Azam managed to obtain a master's degree from the University of Damascus and a PhD in Islamic law from the University of Al-Azhar. Abdullah Azam returned to Palestine in 1967. He established his own resistance group and participated in the Six-Day War against Israel. After the Arabs were defeated, Abdullah Azam left Palestine and took refuge in Jordan, where he continued to launch attacks against the Israeli army on the border. During this period, the Jordanian government had given refuge to many Palestinian groups and allowed them to establish bases in Jordan. Many of these Palestinian groups were communist and Marxist groups such as the PLO. Abdullah Azam distanced himself from these groups as he disagreed with their atheist and nationalist ideology. Eventually, Palestinian communist groups began to harass Jordanian civilians and confiscate their property in the name of revolution. Abdullah Azam spoke out against the bad conduct of these Palestinian groups in Jordan. Eventually, clashes broke out between the Jordanian army and the Palestinian militias. Abdullah Azam refused to participate in this conflict between his fellow Muslim brothers. Therefore, he left Jordan and took refuge in Saudi Arabia, where he was appointed as a lecturer at the King Abdul Aziz University. During this period, Abdullah Azam spent time writing books and delivering speeches against poisonous ideologies such as communism and Arab nationalism, which had plagued the Muslim world. He wrote the book entitled The Red Cancer, which is an Islamic critique of communism. When the Soviet Union invaded Afghanistan in 1979, Abdullah Azam called for a defensive jihad against the Russians and he called on Arabs to fight alongside their Muslim brothers in Afghanistan against the invading Soviet army. Abdullah Azam eventually left Saudi Arabia and went to Pakistan where he established an organization known as Maktab al-Khidmat which was created for the purpose of helping Arab volunteers who were fighting alongside the Afghans against the Russian army. Abdullah Azam provided Arab volunteers with military training in Pakistan before they crossed the border into Afghanistan to fight the Soviets. Abdullah Azam also called on his wealthy followers in Saudi Arabia to donate huge sums of money to buy weapons and supplies for the Afghan Mujahideen. He also crossed the border himself and participated in many battles against the Russians. After the Soviets were finally kicked out of Afghanistan, Abdullah Azam played a major role in mediating between Afghan factions in order to create a unified Afghan government. However, when a bloody civil war erupted between rival Afghan warlords, Abdullah Azam called on Arabs not to get involved in the internal Afghan conflict. Instead, Abdullah Azam called on Arabs to leave Afghanistan and use their military experience to fight the Israeli army in Palestine. 
However, before Abdullah Azam was able to return to Palestine, he was killed in a car bomb in the Pakistani city of Peshawar. Abdullah Azam was killed by an extremist group that did not agree with his policy of non-involvement in the Afghan civil war. Abdullah Azam left behind a wealth of literature and a large volume of speeches which he delivered in various different countries across the Muslim world.